Hello world, boyfriend back with another booty bonanza. And if you didn't see already, I got myself a nice little Pikachu amiibo. Yeah, it's a slippery slope, like I said. I didn't just get one amiibo this time, no, no, no. I had to get two, and I said I was gonna get this one, and I totally got this one. It's the Samus Zero Suit, Zero Suit Samus amiibo. Uh, yeah, so the amiibo train is a rolling. And I am just picking up uh, Amiibos left and right. So, obviously that's where we were gonna start today, Amiibos. Where to go next? Ah, so remember last video I said that I was gonna, that I, I showed that I got a uh, Game Gear. I didn't have any games. So I had to pick up a game to see if it worked. So what did I pick up? Bam, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. But guess what? Bad news, Game Gear doesn't work. Or at least it sort of works, but not really. It, I can get it to power on, and the screen will flicker. I've even got it to go to the first level of this, and I was able to play a little bit before it just abruptly shut off. Brand new batteries, so it's not that, and there's also no sound. So this thing is jacked up five ways from Sunday, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. You guys, uh, you guys got any suggestions on how to fix a Game Gear? I mean, you know, I'd love to fix it and be able to play Something, maybe not this. Uh, but yeah, so that's where we stand on the Game Gear. Uh, speaking of handheld games, I did pick up a Game Boy game, but not just any ordinary Game Boy game. No, no, a Japanese Game Boy game. And what game is it? Why, Kirby Pinball, in case you couldn't tell. Um, yeah, just totally got this for free. Someone gave it to me, and uh, Game Boy is region free. You can play any game on any Game Boy. And yeah, so I was playing uh, some Kirby Pinball, which is pretty easy. You know, you don't really need to read anything. Um, yeah, so that's cool. And I didn't actually have Kirby Pinball, so booyah, got it now. Um, ah, this was a cool pickup. So I happen to, you never run across these types of games. At least I don't. It's very rare. And usually when you do, like people have them marked up way too expensive. But I happened to haggle the guy down and picked up four games for... The Coleco Vision, and the first of which is Bump and Jump. Um, oh man, I totally tested all these, but it was a while ago. Bump and Jump. How did this one work? Well, I'm sure you were bumping and jumping. I don't remember. Uh, War Games. War Games. Which I didn't know if this was based on the the movie. It, it didn't seem like it was, um, but this one actually came with. The inserts that you can put, it, I got two inserts that you can put over the uh, controller. So that's pretty cool, huh? Um, but yeah, it, uh, it just seems more of like a War Games simulation than, than um, a tie-in with the movie. But I could be wrong. I don't know. It's hard to tell with these older, older games. Da, da, da. Get back in there. Um, I'll fix that in a sec. All right, the next one I got was Space Fury. Now, this one played kind of like uh, Asteroids, I think. Gosh, this was so long ago. But yeah, by Sega. Sega put out Space Fury. And the last game I got, um, probably my favorite of these, was Rock and Rope. Rock and Rope. So it's a um, single screen kind of puzzle platformer where you're making ropes and you climb across and there's certain, there's like, you know, alligators and stuff that want to eat you and you need to uh, make it to the top so yeah there you go rock and rope space fury war games and bump and jump for the coleco vision always fun when you find uh, coleco vision games i am still trying to fix this gosh darn it get in there aha ah uh, ah got it okay Next, Super Nintendo. Where did I leave off last time? I think I left off uh, like 79 or maybe 80. Well, anyway, picked up a few more. So let's see what I got. First off, Jeopardy Deluxe Edition. And if you've been following along, this is the last Jeopardy game I needed. So, subset complete. Next, Dirt Tracks FX. Nothing to say about this game. Smart ball, smart ball, ah, focus, smart ball, super battle tank, two, super battle tank, two, 
a little, oh, was this the last? No, it wasn't. Kablooey, a letter K, but I still have some more letter Ks to go. Uh, oh, I got both super battle tanks now, subset complete. Uh, but Kablooey. Uh, I believe this is Magic Johnson's Super Slam Dunk, but it just says Super Slam Dunk. So, there you go. Uh, Radical Psycho Machine Racing or RPM Racing. Getting down there, getting down there. Uh, this one you see all the time, but I never find it with a good label, and I finally, and I'm talking years, I've been looking and seeing this game, and I finally found one with a good label, and that is T2, the arcade game, which uh, you can actually use with the Super Scope, which is pretty cool. And it's probably the best Terminator game um, on the Super Nintendo, and that's not saying much, because they all suck. The Terminator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and then this. And this is the last Terminator game I needed for the Super Nintendo. So, subset complete. A few more. Uh, let's show this one. Battleship. I got Battleship with the instruction manual. Nice clean game. Battleship. And then uh, this one, another one. Looking for forever. Could never find with the clean label. This one isn't as good as Terminator, but it's pretty darn good, all things considered. And that's Frogger. A little factoid about this game. Do you guys know? This was the very last. Super Nintendo game released in 1998. This was the last game. So there you go. And then finally, this came courtesy of Mr. Vintage Video Game Geek. Thank you, Vintage. Uh, he always looks out for me to add to my collection. He's helped out quite a bit. So thank you, Vintage. You're the man. And he sent me Frantic Flea. Now, there was a caveat with this game. He picked this up and he said, if it sucks, I'll send it to Curtis. I guess it sucked. <laughs> But it's mine now, so thank you, Vintage. Frantic Flea. And that was actually on my want list. It's a little bit harder to find. And finally, the creme de la creme. It's nothing too crazy, but it's uh, something I've been looking for for a while and for one special reason, which we'll get to in a second. But first, let's show what it is. It's issue 137 of Nintendo Power. Ooh. Uh, with the Majora's Mask on the cover. Now, this is a special issue because it's hard to find complete. So not only does it have a poster, it has something else that's very hard to find. And I guess I should show you guys just to prove that I do have it. Um, but there's a, a few issues of Nintendo Power that came with Pokemon cards. Special Pokemon cards you could only get in Nintendo Power and this one just so happens to have one of those Pokemon cards. And it is... Ba -ba -ba. It is Sabrina's Abra. You see that? Sabrina's Abra. So yeah, still on the uh, insert. Sabrina's Abra. And then of course it has the poster, which is I think Batman Beyond. But yeah, so issue 137. And this was the, um, of the few issues I have left to collect, this was the lowest number. So I think the next number I have is 159. So I have one through 158 so far and then a bunch after that. But um, yeah, so there you go, issue 137. And that is it. Nothing too crazy, but I am going out of town for a couple weeks, going to somewhere. And uh, I just wanted to get this out of the way. So thanks for watching guys, and until next time, Boyfriend.